What's up guys, how's it going? So this is vlog number nine. I'm pretty sure today is, the test net was scheduled for either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure we'll ask them. But from my understanding, what the test net is, it's basically the day or the point in time when they release the blockchain to the public. So at that point, then you can, I guess, mine. And I guess that ever, anyone can see how the software and this stuff works. Not sure exactly, we'll ask a few people, see. How their, what their explanation is. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> so the topic of today is, um, I know that you guys are either going to do the test net today or... Right. Is it happening today? Yes. So the question is, what exactly is a testnet? How does it work? Okay, so the testnet basically provides uh, a means for us to really try out whether our client wor works at scale. Mm -hmm. So currently, so when we develop this thing, mm -hmm. I mean, we typically test on our machine. There's just a couple of machines in the local or local area network. We have just a just a couple of nodes running, so we typically connect it to just a, just a very very few nodes. Mm -hmm. And now with the test net, mm -hmm. and I mean, currently we have like a virtual virtual kind of test net. So we use like cloud services to to create virtual browsers and uh, um, virtual nodes in our in our network. Mm -hmm. And we then basically test how, how the how the network behaves at scale. At scale. Mm. And now the test net, the, we're going to have a public test net, which is which then consists of you know real browsers, real nodes. When's that going to happen? Uh, you know, in a couple of days. Testing. When does the uh, actual, do you think, will be the actual um, ground zero starting where the mining and the real Nimix and all that starts? With the mainnet or the testnet? Just when it, it's going to... The real thing? Yeah. Well, so currently the plan is to do it in the beginning of August mm -hmm. to, to really launch the mainnet. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if we can, if we can make so this. So that would be after the, the, the token sale? Yes. Uh, any breakthroughs or anything new? Are we on new browsers or anything like that? It's not like breakthrough. We're still working with, with older browsers and uh, like Safari is, is pretty incomplete in, in modern uh, JavaScript API. So uh, yeah, we have to make sure that it runs on every browser, on iPhones and so on. It's the, the ongoing issue, but it's going to an end hopefully today. Oh, you think you'll get it all wrapped up today? Yeah, the need for the, the, the browser support should be done today. I guess so, yeah. Wow, that's at least for, for, let's say, Safari should be in then. That's and a big step. Yeah. So uh, I noticed the, the change from the map to the spinning globe. <laughs> yeah, that's huge one, right? That's what? That's a huge one, right? <laughs> that's a massive change, yeah. yeah. Wasn't that being worked on for a couple of days? At least? Yeah, I, uh, uh, I have to admit, I, I kind of like the map, but... Um, uh, yeah, you know, in the end, it's, uh, it's a lot about taste. We also feel like the map is, is pretty cool. Uh -huh. But then again, the globe is way more technical. It has a more awesome message um, to, to get Nimic in, in context, you know. Is it going to be animated? Yeah, so I think what we're going to do is like have an animated globe on the minor and then do uh, a picture of a globe on the home page. Oh, I ruined your train of thought, didn't I? Hmm? I said I messed up your train of thought. Yeah, totally. <laughs> You're jamming on the keyboard. I was like, oh, I gotta get that. Blog posting, okay, use the way you use Just a simple, like, like a description. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I like that too because we can yeah, add stuff there. So we don't have to put the announcement on the web page. We just people will go to the blog and there they'll see Robin posted. Yeah. In two days, we're releasing this. In mm -hmm. four days, we're releasing that. These are the terms, like basically what the others, yeah. what Aragon did very well. Yeah, official announcements. Yeah. I think it makes sense. The more I think about it, the more I agree with him. Mm -hmm. I should try and have that blog somehow. Uh, definitely. Um, pretty yeah, much. I can help the kid with this. And his point is very valid to have a video of, I mean, like, we can have the blog post and then also a video, just a record uh, showcasing how to do what the blog uh, post is telling you to do. 
for some people it's like very comfortable to see it in video and they don't get lost between these steps. We already have an idea about the ticker that we're going to use. It's either, yeah, it's a good question. Jeff was asking about this. It's either M-A-Q, N-M-Q or N-I-M. Either NIM or N-M. N-I-M. I like N-I-M actually. Yeah, there is research about that. You say it a little better. It's pronounceable. Okay, so we're NIMs, but careful. Our tokens are not NIMs. Well, I, I suppose. So I'm saying we can't use that, even we use that ticker right now. The sale is not in, for NIMs. We're selling to NIM tokens. Huh? Gnosis had their own tokens for yeah. generating GNOs. Uh, they were called WIS. And also Mysterium, they had, uh, when you bought in the ICO, you didn't actually bought Mists. You bought uh, CHF. Which I don't know. They didn't even explain CHF what was Swiss Swiss French. Ah, CHF. Yes. I'd be surprised if they used that short because that's it, Swiss French. I I noticed searching for that it. That would be was, crazy. Yeah, they they, they did. no because that's uh, they raised Swiss French. Um, so I think it just meant okay. It's, probably, it's not, one Swiss French. Probably that was Swiss French because, because they raised in Swiss French. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There was no difference. Yeah. Okay. 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 No, that's okay. no, but it's important for us that people understand that we're selling. That these are tokens that will then, because we don't have main network, they make it don't exist right now. Right. You understand that the main network won't be launched until August, the genesis. So only then do, do our mimics actually, the real ones, come to life. Uh, well, I'm the technical writer, the, te the documentation guy. So I'm trying to take all the um, new innovative technology that is being coded here and created here and document it as clear as possible for the whole ecosystem to start uh, contributing our project. So I bring the information to a more clear, in a more clear way to our audience. We have so many sausages. We have German sausages <laughs> and German beer. What's the, what's the name of the beer? Karlsberg. It's the plant from the state where I'm from. Nice. Where we actually are from. Yeah, where yes. we are from, actually, yeah. But this is not the best beer, actually. What's the name of the best beer? Mm, that's hard to say. Uh -huh. But I, pr I probably, so there's another uh, local brewery which is called Bruch. And I prefer, I definitely prefer Bruch over Karlsberg. Yeah, from that. The owner. <laughs> this is sausage from the place where we are from. Yeah. Good old the owner. Typical so owner. Sausage Tastes disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Here's vegetarian. Why? <laughs> but you can also only drink them after launch. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so if our, our testnet works today, then we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna drink them so that's to celebrate. The celebration exactly. <laughs> Are those all the beers you guys brought? Uh, it's six, yeah. yeah it's so. already three kilograms in my suitcase. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. <laughs>
That's great. Wow. Very nice. The hard part is getting it to go to the beats, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> it's like eight, nine days worth of footage. You got to get like just the best clips. All oh, right, right, yeah. Nice. Totally about simplicity. Yeah, we wanted to put just a little bit of text. That's my rhythm. Minimal. That's that. Exactly. Okay, so you guys are maxed out here. Exactly. So we had to like uh, ask Amazon to increase our our quotas because we were hitting like the limits on CPUs and instances we could have. Uh, the same with Google, uh, because I'm, you know, I'm kind of holding back a little on the on the release of the miner. Uh, I personally would like to see better is you know seeing the website up first, uh, because I think it makes more sense to give like even before running the miner a little bit of a heads up. Because once we go live with the miner, we will have to monitor and maintain all the infrastructure that keeps that thing alive. So once it's running, we'll have to keep it running, and That's that would require constant attention. Right, okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm.